this video we will be discussing uh, rectification of errors. So this is the part 1 video. In this video I will be explaining what is rectification of errors, what are the types of errors and I will be explaining how to rectify errors which do not affect the trial balance or we will call this as a two sided error. In the part 2 video I will be explaining errors which affect the trial balance or it will be called a single sided error. And also how to open, uh, when to open suspense account, how to open it, all these things I will be discussing in the part 2 video. Okay, now let's move on to this video. Uh, so first what is rectification of errors? We all know error means mistake. So rectification is correcting. We are going to correct the mistakes that has been done by the accountant at the time of making an entry in the books of accounts. Is this clear? So rectification of errors is we are going to correct the mistake that has been done. So what are the types of errors? What are the types of mistakes that an accountant can make when he is making an entry in the books of accounts? So these are the types of errors. Error of commission, errors of omission, errors of principal and compensating errors. What is this error of commission? This error of commission happens when wrong totaling. If While making a total, if wrong totaling is done, Wrong posting is done. Wrong posting is instead of purchase book, if it is being posted to sales book, uh, likewise wrong posting, wrong totaling, all these are errors of commission. Errors of omission as the word itself tell you, omitting, omitting means leaving out a particular transaction. This omission can be either partial or complete. Complete means full. We are omitting a particular transaction fully. Partially means we are omitting only a part of the transaction. We are recording only a part and the remaining part we have omitted. Then errors of principle. As the word itself tell you principle. In accounting we have certain basic principles. So if we violate the principles of accounting. If a transaction is entered by violating the accepted principles of accounting. Then that is called as error of principle. Compensating errors, compensation, compensating errors means there is a mistake in the debit and equal compensation has been done in the credit. Okay, so these are the types of errors. So these errors when committed by the accountant at the time of making entry, then these errors may affect, these errors may which do not affect trial balance, this may or may not which is affecting trial balance. So these errors may affect trial balance or it may not affect trial balance. The errors which do not affect trial balance are called as two-sided errors. Two-sided. The errors which affect trial balance are called as single-side errors. Is this clear? Okay. Now, in this video, I will be concentrating only on this errors which do not affect the trial balance. So, this two-sided as the name itself tell you, both the transaction, we all know accounting has we record dual aspect of the transaction. We, we record dual aspect. So if the both the sides, if the two sides of the transactions are affected, it is called as two-sided errors. Are you clear with this? Okay. How to deal with this two-sided errors? That we will be discussing. Okay. Okay. So in here I have not taken problems. Instead, I have divided the problems into single, single entries. So that you will understand. I have taken single entries so that you will understand better okay and I have given three columns in this column I will write the correct entry this I will write the wrong entry and here we will write the rectifying entry are you clear okay now read this question credit sales to Mohan 10,000 was recorded as rupees 1000 okay first let's write the correct entry what is the correct entry we have to give entry for credit sales to Mohan at rupees 10,000 so what will be the entry Mohan's account debtor to sales account, isn't it? What is the amount? 10,000. 10,000. What is the narration? Being goods sold on credit to Mohan. This is the correct entry. Okay, we will write the narration. Okay, what was entered? What was the wrong entry that was given? It was recorded as 1000. So instead of 10,000, the amount was written wrongly. So the entry is Mohan's account to sales account. There is no mistake in the 
entry only the amount has been recorded wrongly how much have we recorded we have recorded thousand and thousand then we will write the narration okay now we have to rectify it for rectifying it if the entry is correct and only the amount is wrong if the entry is correct and only the amount is wrong you check for two things check whether you have to increase the amount or you have to decrease the amount Okay, if the entry is correct and the amount alone is wrong, check whether you have to increase the amount or decrease the amount. If you have to increase the amount, the debit entry should be again debited and the credit entry, the account that you have written it in the credit side, that account has to be credited again. But if you have to decrease the value, the account that you have written it in the debit side should be credited and the account that you have written it in the credit should be debited. Reverse. Okay, if you have to increase, debit should be again debited, credit should be again credited. If you have to decrease, opposite. Debit should be credited, credit should be debited. Okay, now come to this situation. Instead of 10,000, what have we recorded? We have recorded it at 1,000. So, we have to increase. How much should we increase? 10,000 is the correct amount, but we have recorded it at 1,000. So, we have to increase by 9000. So, the rectifying entry, you have to give it only for this difference amount. The rectifying entry should be given only for the difference amount. Okay, now let's write the account. What did I tell you? If you have to increase, the debit should be further debited. What have we written in the debit side? Mohan's account. So, Mohan's account will be further debited. But the amount, what amount should you write? You should write the difference. Okay, the difference is 9000. To sales account. This credit, the credit I have written sales. So, I am giving a further credit and I should write the difference amount only 9000. Then write the narration. Are you clear with this? Okay. This is the next statement that I have taken. Credit sales to Mohan was recorded as 12,000. So, the same sentence only I have taken. But what is the difference? Instead of 10,000, here we have recorded as 12,000. So, in this situation, what should we do? We should decrease the value. If we have to decrease the value, debit, debit should be credited and credit should be debited. With that difference, what is the difference? 12,000 has been recorded, but actually we have to record only 10,000. So, the difference is 2,000. For this 2,000 rupees only, we will give the rectifying entry. Let's see how to do this. This entry will be the same. Mohan's account debtor to sales account. Amount is 10,000, 10,000. Correct entry is, sorry, the wrong entry that have been made in the books is Mohan's account debtor 12,000. Instead of 10,000, we are recording it as 12,000 to sales account 12,000. Isn't it? Okay, now we have to decrease the value. Decrease the value means what should we do? Debit should be credited and credit, the sales account will be debited. So, the credit entry sales will be debited. So, sales account data to the debit entry Mohan's account will be credited to Mohan's account. Okay. With what amount? With the difference. What is the difference? It is 2000 rupees. Is this clear? Yes. So, in the credit side, I have 12,000 as sales. In the debit side, I have 2000. So, from this 12,000, 2000 will be deducted and the net effect will be 10,000 only. In the same way, in Mohan's account, debit side will be having 12,000. Now, we are recording 2000. So, 12,000 minus 2000, the net effect will be 10,000. So, we will get the we will get the mistake rectified. Corrected. Is this clear? Okay. So, if the values alone are to be rectified, not the entry only the values are to be rectified, then if you have to increase the value, debit should be debited, credit will be credited. If you have to decrease, opposite. This logic you can apply 
to all type of transactions all type of transactions where you have to change the values alone amount alone clear the next entry that i have taken credit purchases to a rupees 10000 was not recorded okay now first let's write the correct entry what is the correct entry credit purchases to a rupees 10000 the entry will be purchases account debtor to a's account the amount is 10000 to a's account 10000 then we will write the narration what will be the narration being goods sold sorry being goods purchased from a on credit what is the wrong entry that has been done the entry was not recorded that means there was no entry this is complete omission no entry was given in the books of accounts so now we have to write the rectifying entry if the entry is not recorded if no entry has been made in the books of accounts then the rectifying entry will be the correct entry whatever is the correct entry that will be the rectifying entry so purchases account debtor to a's account 10000 in debit and 10000 in credit and then we will write the narration the narration so this is the next entry credit purchases from rohan rupees 9000 were recorded in the sales book so we have made a purchases but it has been wrongly recorded in the sales book so let's see how to write this first we will write the correct entry correct entry is what credit purchases so purchases account debtor the amount is 900 i think a zero is missing here it is 9000 credit purchases 9000 from whom did we purchase from rohan so to rohan's account the amount is 9000 then we will write the narration okay what is the wrong this is the correct entry what is the wrong entry that we have done we have recorded it in the sales book so when we record it in a sales what will be the entry rohan's account debtor to sales account 9000 to sales 9000 isn't it this is the wrong entry this is the correct entry and this is the wrong entry so now we have to write the rectifying entry when you are writing a rectifying entry you have to re reverse the wrong entry the first step for writing the rectifying entry first what we have to do we have to reverse reverse the wrong entry okay so we will reverse it sales has been credited here if sales is credited what should we do we should debit it that is the reverse so sales account debtor okay what is the amount 9000 then rohan's account we have debited what should we do now we should credit it so to rohan's account the amount is 9000 so this is the first entry that we will give if the entry is totally wrong your first step is you have to reverse the wrong entry so we have reversed the wrong entry your second step is we have to record record the correct entry correct entry as it is so what is the correct entry the correct entry is here purchases account debtor to raman's account this is the correct entry so the correct entry what we should do we should write it as it is so purchases account debtor to rohan's account the amount is 9000 9000 okay after writing this after reversing the wrong entry and recording the correct entry as it is now you see this can we write this as a combined entry yes we can write this as a combined entry so the combined entry will be sales account debtor purchases account debtor to 
Rohan's account. Here in the sales account, we will write 9,000. See, sales only is 9,000. So that 9,000 purchases is 9,000. To Rohan's account, in this entry, we have one 9,000. Here we have 9,000. So 9,000 plus 9,000, we will write it as 18,000. Is this clear? So this is what? This is the rectifying entry. We have to combine it. Initially, for learning, for beginners, you write, you reverse the what? You have to reverse the rectifying entry. You have to record the correct entry as it is. Then we can combine these two entries. When you are combining, debit entry will be written as debit. So sales account data, purchases account data, write the same amount. Then two Rohan's account in the credit. In both the entries in the credit, we have only two Rohan. So write two, two Rohan's account. The amount you added. So this is the rectifying entry. Very simple. When the total entry itself is wrong, the first step is we have to reverse the wrong entry. The second step is we have to record the correct entry. Then you write it as a combined entry. This combined entry is the rectifying entry. Is this clear? Okay, now this is the next question that I have taken. Next entry. Credit sales to Mohan was recorded in the purchase book. See, in the previous entry, credit purchases, credit purchases was recorded as sales. Here, credit sales is recorded as purchases. So, in this case, how we will write the rectifying entry? First, write the correct entry. What, what is the correct entry? Mohan's account data to sales account. What is the amount? It is 7,000, 7,000. Isn't it? This is the correct entry. But what is the wrong entry? The entry has been recorded as purchases. So if you have recorded as purchases, the wrong entry that has been made in the books is purchases account data to Mohan's account. Isn't it? The amount is 7,000, 7,000. Okay. Now, the total entry is wrong. If the total entry is wrong, what did I tell you? Your first step is you have to reverse the wrong entry. This is the wrong entry that we have made. We have to reverse it. Reverse means credit will become debit. Debit will become credit. So, here we have in the credit Mohan. We have to debit Mohan. Mohan's account data are Two, in the credit we have purchases, this purchases will be credited to purchases account. The amount is 7,000, 7,000. Clear? So, we have reversed the wrong entry. The next step is, we have to record this correct entry as it is. So, debit what is debited? Mohan is debited. So, again I am writing Mohan's account. Mohan's account data 7000. Credit what is credited? What is credited? Sales. So write to sales account. Okay. After writing this, what should we do? We should write these two entries as a combined entry. How to write combined entry? See, here in the debit we have Mohan. Here also in the debit we have Mohan. So we are writing only one debit entry. It is Mohan's account data. In the debit we have 7000. Here again we have 7000. So 7 plus 7 will give you 14000. Then in the credit. Here in the first entry we have credited to purchases account. So here also you credit purchases account. To purchases account. What is the amount? It is 7000. So write 7000. In the same way, in the second entry, we have credited sales. So, you credit sales here also to sales account. What is the amount? It is 7000. So, write 7000 here. So, this is the rectifying entry. Did you understand? If the total entry is wrong, your first step is you have to reverse the wrong entry. Then, record the correct entry as it is. After doing that, you combine those two entries, write it as a combined entry. Okay.